Alright guys, so welcome to the final video for the night, because my upper jaw is literally murdering me right now. I don't know why it's in such pain, but it is. So, what we're going to be doing is a simple um, lighting tutorial here going on. I'm trying to get the best lighting possible, and to do that, we are actually going to need to uh, stop and minimize all this shit that and we're just gonna minimize all the trees as well <coughs> we're gonna start all over again for this because this lighting is not the best first we're deleting that go away and then we're gonna delete that we're gonna delete that and that and that Okay, so this is what we have starting out. Absolutely nothing, right? And so first we need to drag in our sky. Oh god, this hurts. Okay, there's our sky. And we're going to drag in our light. Now we have, well, light. Um... Uh, do that and we're gonna set it up according to this area right here even though it's compiling shaders we can still hopefully get it to look good we're gonna go with real time next for settings what you're gonna need to do is set that to medium set that to epic that's it right but of course we need a height fog. Um, so we are going to drop that in. We are still have the height fog in here. That explained it. One second. Where is it? You go away. <coughs> and you go away. change that to movable as well bring this up hmm that's not right shadows are still a bit too dark just give me a second So we got that going on, so when we look up in the sky, we got that going on. Now we need to adjust the clouds. Make them movable. Um, point 0.4 is probably best. Have good cloud density. And this all depends on you. Okay. Uh, about there. Yeah, see, I don't really like using that very much unless we're in an out in an open field. So, this last thing the directional light, we need to deal with the temperature. Like that really want to you can make it look like whatever you want but I just find that this doing this is the easiest way you can change the light color to whatever you want right that is my favorite by far where's that skylight gone Skylight is currently having trouble affecting the world. Uh, this seems to be a bug. <coughs> We're going to put back in the hide fog. There we go. That's what I want. I need it to affect the world. 
so the shadows are a little bit better. Uh, they're a little too strong, though. So I actually need to put this to 0 0.5. Just to make those shadows a bit darker, like that. That looks good, right? Next thing we need to do is we need to deal with all of this. Um, go down here. Light map resolution. Turn this up to 128. No, turn this up to 64. That'll be a little bit better. All right. Next piece of magic we're gonna do is we're gonna run a, a post-processing volume. And we're gonna run it on bound, and we're gonna go with um, <coughs> scene color. We're gonna do this. I need to know if it actually is working. We need to pull off that sort of effect. Now it gives the world a sort of a weird feel to it, but the feel looks good. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, I actually wanted just one point one. Mm, still too strong. I just want it barely noticeable, right? Uh, and we want vinaigrette as well. See what that does. And the last thing we're going to want to do is add in some AO. Now, yeah, I know you can do that the other way, but this way. See what it does? It adds a lot of depth. So we're going to hit play now. <laughs> And look at that lighting. You can look at the ass too if you want, because I know you are, you bunch of perverts. The lighting is good, the lighting is deep. It's got a certain feeling to it that just makes you dive into the world. I've been working on this lighting, trying to get it perfect for the last couple of days. And I kind of finally nailed it. It makes the world feel alive. It makes it feel in depth. And uh, it even kind of managed to pull off a slight depth of field in the background, which is, which is pretty nifty, to be honest. So, here's some things why I do what I do in here. You stick this out, and you get this oversaturated look. And honestly, I think it's ugly. I do. It doesn't fit the scene at all, and it doesn't look very good. And you get that over shininess feel on everything, like the entire world's oversaturated and ugly. So turning post processing to low on also gives you a good boost in speed. Um, like watch this boom the world feels truly alive so yeah keep post processing at medium at all times have shadows at epic have shadows at high it doesn't really matter what you have them at I mean you could even have them check this out um, because of this everything looks really really good so we're gonna put it to a uh, medium and it still looks great that's the cool part about this. But for performance reasons, we're going to leave them where they are.
because there's a lot of geometry in this level and this is extreme what I'm doing anyway guys there's the lighting uh, I hope you like it it looks really really good and that fringe intensity kind of gives it an overall bearing crispiness see you in the next video guys this is my own opinion on what lighting should look like in the games so you don't have to yell and scream and bitch because dude I'm a keyboard warrior I can fuck you over 10 ways to Sunday for fun I'm kidding see you guys if you like the video subscribe uh, if you like the content and want more definitely subscribe if you like the video